everybody. Welcome back to Horse and Happy New Year. As most of you will have seen by now because it has been up for a few days, the trophies, the new trophies and collections page has gone live. And I am genuinely surprised that it did go live when it did. Just there were still quite a few... I don't know that there were really any glitches, but there were still a bunch of changes coming to it just based on all of the ne negative feedback about it. We had still not seen the update to our general ranking or our trophy ranking on pre-prod when it ended. So I had really hoped this would not go live for another couple of months. I didn't, I didn't want it to go live at all, of course, but I mean, I kind of just figured it was going to happen anyway. You know, and the best we could do is just give them enough feedback to make improvements to it but a lot of that didn't ha happen so this video pretty much is just going to be me talking about how the update was essentially destructive and useless for my gameplay and I really hate saying that about any update I don't think I've said that about any update as much as I dislike the removal of pass horses and I still talk about that quite often, obviously, I can admit, and I did admit at the time that there were some benefits to it. Like there, are, there are days when I think, thank goodness, I don't have to work all of those pass horses. I can just, I had some good, easy objectives today and I got them done in a little bit. And then of course there are days when I think, well, I miss all of the passes that we used to get from pass horses because we don't get the same amount now that we used to. And you know, some other some other things but basically my point is with most most updates I'm pretty good about trying to look at both sides and to see what the benefits are for a system and with this one I just I just unfortunately do not see it and personally it just really hit my game hard also if on the bright side I will say that even though I didn't expect this update to go live when it did just in case it did, I did record a trophy page tour and collections page tour. It's all in one video. I don't know if I'll break it up into two parts because it got it got pretty long. I actually had a really fun time going through the cards collection and the other collections page too. I did go through that as well. Um, but I did record that j before they were nixed, axed, vanished <laughs> forever. And I'll probably have that posted up either in a few days or it'll be next week so it will you know the memory of the old trophies page will will be on my channel if you would like to go see them so anyway let's let's talk about this update first how it destroyed my game how did it do so well my main goal for the past year as I said in the last couple of videos is that I've been trying to increase my general ranking also my general ranking score I don't just look at my place in the ranking every day I do look at my score and just to see how many points I increased by. And of course, I've been working on collecting my trophies, not just to help increase my my score because the trophies contribute to that, but I just wanted to fill out that page because it looked really cool. And the other tro the trophies in general, for the most part, I mean, I have been working on them ever since they were introduced 10 years ago or whenever it was, but some of them, it wasn't only until now that I really wanted to collect most of them. So, I mean, that's one one reason why I'm really sad to see so many of them go and they didn't all carry over like I understood they were going to. But in regards to my ranking, so I did the, I guess the update, it would have been the first day we had the trophies where the ranking was still reflecting our old trophy count. I took a screenshot and I recorded um, my placings and my numbers. So prior to this update, the new trophies, I had 312 old trophies and I was in 166th place. My general ranking score was 13,732,967 and I was in 552nd place. After the update, the new trophies were taken into account I only had 98 trophies and I was ranked 447th. So I ended up losing 281 spots in the trophy ranking. And there were some other players that lost a lot more spots than I did as well. My 
general ranking score was 13 mil- 13,390,942 and I was ranked 559th. So I only lost seven spots there. So if I only care about actual ranking, that's not too bad, I suppose. Although on a day when I do lose a spot because somebody else moved up, it's usually only one or two, one or two spots. Um, so I only lost seven spots there, but my score dropped by about 342,000 because I did lose almost 200 trophies or something. And the majority of them were those coat trophies, the customization trophies that I lost. Also, we have, so bouncing off from that real quick, just to tell you, it does say in the devs corner, and we've been told by admin that the The collections do also count towards your general ranking score, but we haven't been told how much they affect it. We haven't been given the updated formula. I don't know if they will give us that, but I would at least like to know to what extent they count. Like, is it just the total, these percentages all added together and then raised to the power of what have you? Or do you only get points for having... a a mini collection complete. So do I get any points at all for my dragon collection, given that I don't have it complete? I don't know. So this just felt like a total reset on not just my last year's progress, but just my whole gameplay in general from all the trophies that I lost. The general ranking, I've only started working on that for the last year. So that was more like a, you know, it, it hurt my temp, my, my recent progress, I should say, but the trophies is something that I've been working for for the last decade. So that was quite a bummer. And I think the other problem with the trophy ranking is that it seems like a lot of players are on, they had the same amount of trophies. There were dozens of other players who also had 98 trophies. And it's not like course ties you in, what would I say, 447th place. You're just, you know, the other people who had 98 trophies would have been at like 440th and then 441, 442 or higher than that, you know, whatever. So I think that was probably the other problem with the trophy count that we have now. So that's how it just destroyed my game. It just really hurt that I lost all of those trophies, just not even just the numbers of them that I had, that they were all checked off or whatever, but just the work that I put into them. Um, the collections, as you will have seen, do not include the Helios Ray or the Golden Apples. And admin stated on, I think it was the French server, that they're not going to be added to the collections because there's too many. And I had understood that they were going to be added, that they would transfer over because they said pretty much everything would transfer over. The Golden Apples, there is a trophy for that here, uh, but there's no Helios Ray trophy. And okay, if they're not in the collections, fine, I guess. But I can we at least have a trophy for Helios Race? I don't. So I lost a bunch of trophies. My rankings took a hit. And it was just, I just felt really defeated. I've never been so bummed about an update before. It just, it, it totally set me back. So how do I feel that this update was useless for my game? And kind of as a whole, I really don't. I can see a few benefits for it depending on your particular game's gameplay strategy. But for the long term, it's just not good. So we do get these rewards. And honestly, I cared so little (laughs) about this update and the rewards that I didn't even collect these until today. And this update's been up for two or three days now. So the rewards are really not that great. And yes, we didn't get rewards at all for the old trophies, but I still think that they could have just added rewards to that system and we would have been just fine. But if we're going to get rewards at all, please let it be worth what we're putting into it so it doesn't just feel like we took away these little pages, you know, and what you liked about them, but here's some rewards to lessen the blow. One of the rewards is a bonus pack. A bonus pack is not worth all the effort you're putting into this. It's fine in the beginning levels, but the problem is that the rewards just recycle themselves. You just get the same, I think it goes, you get nine items and then the 10th thing you collect is the divine. 
or maybe it's 10 items and then the 11th is divine some something like that I'm, i think it's nine items and then those nine items you get the divine which the divine is different every time but then the items just recycle themselves so it's not like you know in your first level per se you get a bonus pack as one one of the rewards and then they get better over time you're just going to get a bonus pack every single cycle some of the other ones were nice i mean there's a philosopher's stone aphrodite's tears i believe fertility wand there was no golden apple so we have this golden apple trophy but there's no golden apple to help us get this and i'll get to these trophies in a minute and having to put stuff on your horses to get these trophies i'll get to that in a minute so there's no golden apple to help us with that there was a vintage apple but that helps with collections it's not really tied to the trophies now um an achilles heel that was in there which i would eventually one of my goals is to have heels on all of my divines um but again i don't know that that's you know <laughs> worth all of the stuff that you're doing the divines what about the divines so everybody gets the same the first one's a tarpan and then you get a tiny falabella the th third is a Tianma and then the fourth is an Etrian I believe and I don't think anybody at least on this server has gotten above Etrian we were told on pre prod that there's a Xanthos at some point I have all of those divines I just talked about except for Xanthos I have a Tarpan a Falabella I have two Tianma and I have Etrian Tarpan um also I don't I don't necessarily I don't mind having duplicate divines if they're just given to me because you can enter them into comps for the Equus that's fine Tianma well you're going to need him for this manure trophy yeah we still don't have icons on these to make them easily seen I don't know if we're ever going to get them but anyway Tiama will come in handy with this I don't didn't really need another one if it wasn't for this dropping trophy I wouldn't need another one at all I mean another one's always nice again especially if he's just given to me but with the two that I have it keeps me in enough droppings to fertilize the plant divines that I have Falabella I really don't need another one and it's one that I have I have the tiny Tarpan poor Tarpan he's gotten a lot of hate the last few days because his perk, what it does, it increases the odds of inherit the foal will inherit the coat color of one of its parents if it's a purebred breeding. And a lot of people who just like to mass breed to get rare coats, they were worried that it's going to ruin that system. And in my personal experience, granted, this is not something that I, I've kept records or data on to track, but just personal experience in summary. I don't think the odds are increased that much and I've really like been glad that I've had him for the past year because my vintage apple project I've been trying to pair the vintage apple coat with the actual breed and coat color of the horse and it needs to be a horse that I bred I want to home breed these horses and I have been trying to take advantage of Tarpan's perk to get specific coats and in my experience yeah it doesn't really help all that much it is a little bit more noticeable when you're already using a, a common coat color for one of the parents. For example, I think it was Polish Konik breeding, I think. I th we're just going to go with that. But it was a coat, it was a breed that had mouse gray as a common coat color. It was a very high percentage common coat color. So therefore, it made it even more obvious that I'm, I had a mouse gray parent and I kept getting mouse gray foals while I was using a really common coat color breeding to a really rare coat color so it made it more obvious but within that the, that breeding though I still kept getting coats outside the parents so yeah in my experience he's really not that bad however it would be nice to just have the ability to turn off that perk in case you didn't need it active at the time the rewards to me are just I could I'd happily give them back to have what we have before. And the other problem with the rewards in a way that they're useless is that like right now I collected all of them. I'm on level two. So, so far I only got to tiny Falabella. Level two, I'm working towards level three. Another problem with this system is that you can't actually tell what quote unquote level you're on. You just have to keep track based on the divines that you won. I'm currently at a wall, although 
with this one, this is a silver medal. I'm at 93%, which I hate the percentages here. I'd really like to hover over to see where I'm at. Um, if I complete that one, 30 points, what am I at again? Yeah, so silver medal. If, if I get another gold, I'll be up to 100 points because I'll get 50 points for that. And even if I just get a silver, plus 30 points. If that literally just is, oh no, I have 60 points, I'm sorry. 60 points. I was th I was thinking the 93 percentage. So if I do get a gold medal from that, 60 plus the 50 will put me over 100 points. If I get a silver though, then it'll just be up to 90 points. So I'm not at a total wall, but what I'm trying to say is that you will eventually hit a wall at some point where it's going to take you forever to get another trophy and the rewards are just one and done. And I don't know how few and farther they are between because I was able to just collect a whole bunch at once. But once I hit a wall, it's going to be forever until I get another reward anyway. And then what if that next point, it was the bonus pack. That would be a bummer. Waiting a really long time just to get a bonus pack. And that is, I think, the problem of um, not having progressively better items at some point. You know, I mean, I get you'd have to recycle the items anyway, just because if you have, if you're going to be collecting, say, a hundred times, then, well, I don't even think the game has a hundred items yet. So you'd have to recycle them at some point. But why just recycle the same nine? There's really not much there. You could go at least like 20, recycle 20 of them. So level one had 10 items and then the next level had 10 different items and then on level three then they reset or something I don't know but I don't want to get a bonus pack after completing some of these like getting a diamond my diamond trophy for golden apple or whatever so I just really don't think that in the long run these rewards are that <laughs> beneficial not compared to what other items can be found in the game and not to how often you can get items just from the exchanges from event prizes if you have divines if you're a divine owner um luck items you know there are plenty of other just as easy way to get items so yeah i, I really don't think the rewards in the long term are really going to be that beneficial not once you've collected quite a few of them already I do wonder what these three trophies and just these, uh, the separation of collections and trophies in general are going to do to the horse market. So for collections, you do have to keep the horse to keep the collection. For the trophies, you do not have to keep the trophy to keep the trophy, which is nice for some of these, like the rosette one that is pretty difficult. I did hate that old trophy that you had to, it was trophies one in the last 30 days. That was always one I was always halfway through because I, my long-term rosette horses are just two of my divines. You know, I don't usually breed regular rosette winners. But with these three, you have to put these items on yourself. You don't have to buy them. And there's also no longer the fifth element trophies. And those metal coats could be worth quite a bit just for the trophy alone. Now, there is obviously, the, so the collections, of course, do still count for general ranking. So yes, if you care about your general ranking, maybe you will still care about the collections or the trophies, one or the other, or both. But not necessarily, because if you have enough highly skilled horses on your account, you might be able to ignore these for the most part, because the skills of your best 10,000 horses count more than what the trophies, at least what the old trophies did. We don't know what the new formula is, but <laughs> with with how many points my score dropped, because I only have around 2,000, I have less than 3,000 horses, I believe, on my account. And I am trying to go for quality over quantity in the horses that I'm breeding now. But those trophies really helped my general ranking. So there's still no guarantee that having the collection as part of the general ranking will help keep the demand up for these horses. I don't know what's going to happen with the value of companions and special coats. I don't know. The other issue with the companions is that you can put duplicate companions on your, you can put the same, like you don't have to, it's not 30 different companions. It's just literally put any, <laughs> put any 30 companions on your horses. So I played around with this on pre-prod. It would not work when I put the same when I replaced one companion with the same one. So I started out with a penguin. I put another penguin on it. My meter did not budge. I put a 
regular cat companion over the penguin. Even though I already had several, I have several horses, I'm sure, with cat companions, my meter went up, even though I already have a cat companion. I replaced it with a penguin companion that the horse had already had prior to the cat, and the meter went up. <laughs> even though I, that horse itself had already had a penguin, and even though I've already got other horses with penguins. So you can just sit here, replace the same two companions on your horse over and over again. There's no challenge in this. And it's kind of funny because like that one then is pretty easy. It's ridiculously easy. But then some of these are ridiculously difficult. Like the Rosette one went 50 with the same horse. And for some, I think a few play, I think a few people who are much higher up in this trophy, they said they have to win 2,500 with the same horse. I don't know how you're going to do that on some smaller servers that have less rosettes. Even on international, I believe the top rosette horse only has 4,000. And this is something that everybody is going to now be competing towards. It's not like with a golden apple trophy. I mean, you're just competing with yourself for this because 500 golden apple coats, everybody can do this. But you're going to have everybody trying to go after something that's like a limited thing, a competition with rosettes in it. But again, that was an issue before, I suppose, with the old trophies because we did have a rosette trophy and it was in, within the last 30 days. So you did have to really try to be competitive with that. So perhaps in terms of competition between players, it's not really that difficult. Um, this one went up. I don't remember if I talked about that yet. The dropping one. Some of these had gone up from the old trophies and some of them did not. Like the victories, I had the victories maxed, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to look at my trophy page tour to be sure. But I'm pretty sure I had this one maxed on the old trophies. So they increased the amount for that, which is fine. But why did they not increase the amount for this one? Enter competitions. That one's just maxed. Grand Prix, I already had that one complete. They didn't increase that one. The Fountain, that one's never going to happen for me again. I only have that because of a glitch. And Horse gave us compensation because players were having a difficult time entering the Prix that week. So they just gave it to everybody who had, I think, been logged in for maybe that whole week or just like one day that week or something. Um, this one, I only have 4,400 days of seniority. <laughs> so it would be nice that I get it that it is a diamond trophy, but for a seniority thing where there, there's no way for you to control that other than like, there's no way for you to speed this up, right? So for the manure one, you can keep aging horses to speed this up. You can't speed up the seniority one. So it would be nice to have smaller milestones between the days. The divines, for those of you who haven't yet heard, we were told on pre-prod or in the events forum somewhere. Oh, admin did say that they will they will eventually add uh, trophies for the older divines. They just put these ones in first because these are newer divines and it's more likely that newer players will have them. Yggdrasil and Zonki, I don't like either of these and I'm just going to wait until like the last possible moment that I would ever have to get them. So if I get literally stuck on everything else, then I'll maybe contemplate getting these. But if I can get my... If I can get my horse's skills up, which is something that I work on every day anyway, then eventually, you know, I won't have to have these because that was my plan with the old trophies. So I'm just slowly working on those. But yeah, I just find some of these. I just wonder what they're going to do to the overall gameplay. Horse value is something that's already difficult right now. It's been a problem lately anyway. So we have the collections. Let's move on to that. I've already been talking for a while. I didn't have an outline in mind for this video because I'd already pretty much said everything that I had said in my videos on pre-prod and my thoughts have not changed. If anything, I'm just now more bummed about this than I than I was even before. So I do, I'm, I'm curious now with the cards. The collections count towards the general ranking. I'm happy about that. I'm not happy if the cards count. Even like I have cards, I'm at 66% for that, but you can't go back and get these cards. So how is that going to affect your ranking? You know, because really that's not been a problem with the old trophies, I don't think. You know, you didn't have to, beyond since the beginning, 
to get certain trophies. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not thinking of a trophy that that was a problem for. And I wouldn't want us to go back and replay these events anyway, because even though I dislike the cards as an event, I like, I do look forward to seeing the new theme and the new design. And again, I still don't like this page. They got the gift cards are not there. There's no distinction between the puzzle sets. They're just listed in order of the card rarity. So that's my concern about the cards collection. The retired apple coats, um, you're not going to be able to complete all of these. I don't think any player currently on the game has all of them. Several, there are quite a few single digit copy coats on International. And I don't know if any of the current players, top collectors have any of them because some of those copies were on accounts that have since been deleted, you know, but Anyway, 99% of players are not going to be able to collect all of the riding horse coats or riding Pegasus coats. And there's even a problem with 100 limit coats, right? Because only 100 players can have that coat. And then when the copies keep dropping over time, that's less and less people. So many of these are just going to be incomplete. And that wasn't a problem with the old trophies because with the topmost retired Apple trophy it was just you had to own 700 retired coats and it was any 700 didn't matter you know um didn't have to be black wind you know or pearlish or my blue dream could just be any 700 and even for the rare retired apple trophy coats with less than 100 copies didn't matter because it was just any number of them and we get limited use coats every month so people are going to be able to keep buying limited coats to work towards that trophy and it maxed out and now this is just an incomplete collection it's just going to forever remain incomplete <laughs> I'm only at 22 percent which is funny because I have 1200 retired coats and it sounded like such a huge number and I think I'm in the top 100 for retired coats um for my collection but then looking at that just looks really it looks so sad just 22 percent yeah. And then the owls, the owls landscape. So another problem in terms of these, I don't want all of these and I don't mind all of them. There are some that, you know, like this one trip to Portugal. Yeah, it, it's a bit boring, but I'll eventually get it once I run out of all the ones that are higher up on my priority, priority list. But I don't want, I'm trying to look for one. Um, oh, here. I don't want the ones with the animations, even though I love, there's one that I love the design for. It might be the unicorn wanderer event background. I think there's one that it's, it's so beautiful, but it has animations on it. And I don't want the animations because I do feel that they kind of slow down my gameplay a little bit, though. I guess if I put it on a horse, I'll just have to put it on one that I don't work anymore. And I do have, this has been a problem that a lot of players have been complaining about lately is that even when you have animations disabled on your account, it doesn't actually work for all animations anymore. It doesn't work on these animated backgrounds. It doesn't work on the event and on some of the divines and wanderers that have animations, which is frustrating. But if I want to make sure that I, my collections are counting towards it, then I'll have to get it. Um, but if they don't count much, then I'm just not going to worry about it. It's going to be a while before I collect enough owls rays to get that many anyway. And I still don't like the navigation. The navigation is just a step back. This was not an improvement on the efficiency and navigational style of the former trophies page. Yes, it was a bit dated <laughs> in the colors, it could the icons could have been a little bit bigger yes um i did say in one of those last videos that it would have been nice to been able to click on it and get a bigger image so that we could actually see it and really the only thing this page improves on is larger images like you can you can see everything but everything is too large you have to click through numerous pages to get to what you want because everything is so large, you have to scroll down a really long way <laughs> to get all the way down here. Or you could use Control F, that would work too. And you have to scroll all the way back up. And it doesn't tell you, there's no special indicator that I've completed like the Welsh pony coats. Whereas with the old trophies, that whole trophy would highlight. 
which at least we get that for these individual ones here, but we don't have anything over here. So if you know, if my, here, let's, let's go to something else. How about, how about this one? Special coats. Okay, I'm at 70%. What am I missing? Um, well, you have to look through here and read the numbers. Double side medallion three or four. I do like that we have the only display missing elements, but the problem is that it resets every time you go to a different mini collection. So I'm in the double side medallion. I'm missing all the haunted hiking journal coats and boom, it's uh, maybe that was a bad example because I'm missing all of them anyway. So, okay, restart. I'm missing the warehorse coat. Let's go to one that I have a few for. Here we go. Butterfly wonder spirit. See dead space right here. You don't want all this dead space. Butterfly wonder spirits. And I have some of these. So now I have to reset my search. Yeah. These are pretty, by the way. One of the best, I think one of the best sets for Wanderers. Yep. Even though a lot of the poses were reused, they were still really beautiful. So yes, the the navigation was just a step back. This just was not an improvement. And it kind of goes the same way with these trophies because you there's no icon to easily identify any of these you have to scroll through there's also nothing different to differentiate them from like the different categories you have you have the categories up here customization competition event etc and they're but they're all the same it's just these here metals you know um yeah there's just I just don't like the the change in the navigation, the aesthetics. I love the background though. I've always loved this background since they introduced this to the game, but that's really the only thing I like about this page. Now I have to work on bringing back up my trophy ranking because I did like that I was getting higher in that ranking. And I hadn't really thought about that when I was working on my general ranking and just collecting more trophies. It was just, oh, hey, I'm actually getting really high in that ranking now that I look at it. And I was looking at that every day that I checked my, my general ranking. So now I'm going to have to work on that again. Like I said, all of that progress, this would have been a better, that would have been a better goal to start this year instead of last year, because now I'm working on totally different things, it feels like. And then of course, I lost all of those points in the ranking. Yeah, those are my thoughts regarding the new trophies and the new collections page. I had really hoped that the update would feel better or get better, I guess, when it happened. But when it went live, it just, ugh, it was kind of worse, actually, than what I expected, which is, which is terrible. I really didn't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen for any update because I love this game and I really want it to do well. But this update just kind of defeated me a little bit. So I'm going to have to really readjust my, my gameplay and everything to improve some of the rankings back to where they were. Although it's not going to make up for, you know, losing collections or trophies for Helios Rays and all of those other things. Like, there's really nothing that can make up for the loss of those trophies. I mean, this just is not the same as all those trophies that I had. And the numbers just are not there. I went from 312 trophies to 98. Well, I think I'm at 101 today because I did earn a couple trophies yesterday. So yeah, the numbers just aren't there, even though the collections, like you see these, but this doesn't tell me anything, 70%, but I have to go through here and count now. I can't just see it on one page that I have X number of Wander Spirit coats completed or that I have the double side medallion completed. I have all of the fifth, I have all of the fifth elements completed that took me forever to do. And now it's just in the collection hidden some somewhere in here. And it's not even by, it's not even by species. See, I spent years trying to get the metal element coat on every species for those trophies. And now that's gone. That's gone. That progress is wiped. I wish I hadn't looked at I didn't even realize that until now. So there you go. There's there's another thing that just bums me out about this. 
I'm going to stop now before I find something <laughs> before I find something else that I dislike. If any of you have any other thoughts or questions, comments, or what have you that you'd like to share, please feel free to share those. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.